Howdy. Uh, yeah, I know it's been a while. I've been busy with a lot of things in my life, uh, a lot of excitement and stress. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to even work on my own projects. Um, but I did uh, make time to do this little video really quick, I suppose. Um, a viewer of mine sent me this and said, hey, there's a string in here that I need to change, but I'm having trouble with it. Can you show me how? Now, this is simple, simple, simple. Like, very simple. So, here's the message. It says, sorry to bother you, I'm stuck. The thing is, blah, 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 earlier version, current version, blah, blah, blah. Um, calls offset blah from blah. Blah is a Unicode string for blah, and the new version of the string should be blah. But I'm unable to change it. Not sure why. Um, the next thing I did was change the string at blah 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 and call it from blah blah blah. When it, but whenever I try to change it, is the string to opcodes. Oh, it's changing the string to opcodes. Can you please help me out? So, I bet I bet this is actually working just fine. Um, I think I know what's going on here. So this is the old version, type in FJLJ, and we get 404-650-842256-5933. Okay, cool. Let's open it in Ollie and see what exactly is going on. And here we go. Wow, it's even in frame. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, I'm sick, by the way, hence the weird voice. Um, getting over it, I think. Hopefully, I do feel better. Um, but, yeah, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> so, he told us we're dealing with a string, so I'm going to search for all referenced strings. Now, if you're playing along at home and you're using the old version of Ollie, this will not be here. This will be under search for. This list will be much shorter. And there'll be, see how there's sections here? So in the bottom of the second section, it'll say all referenced text strings. People get so confused, you don't know how many messages I get every day saying, I can't find a button to find text strings because it doesn't say text. Uh, it, uh, a string's a string's a string. Anyways, so here we are. And I'm scrolling. And I'm seeing the string that he told me that I was going to find that needed to be changed so I'm going to double click it and I am looking at it and I see that there's a byte after the string and then there's a null and then there's another byte I don't know if it's going to matter if these get changed or not probably not so the easiest way to do this would probably be edit binary edit uh, here's our zero zero one two three four what did it need to be five six four five six okay now Oh no, it changed to opcodes. It's it's a string. It's th it says the same thing. So in in the program, this is what it looks like. In Ollie, after it analyzes, it goes, "Oh, it's a string." And then this is what it looks like. So if you do control A, it'll reanalyze and say, "Oh, it's a string." Here you go. So, let's just save that. Edit copy to executable exit yes as new and see if it works so here's new and apparently those three bytes mattered quite a bit and I figured it would because structure and all that crap so edit undo selection reanalyze we're back to normal so instead what we're gonna do is uh, make our own string somewhere else and I recommend going to the bottom 
until you start seeing a ton of zeros because that means you're at the end of a section or file and it's not used as long as it's all zeros it doesn't matter don't take the first couple not that it matters it's just it's not good it's not good practice so here's our new string that we need edit binary edit we know it needs to be unicode insert okay and oh no it's opcodes control a oh it's a string cool and we need the address of this for future reference edit copy address and now let's go back to our string this R brings up your search results any search results so here's our string we go here and we want to find the references to this string anytime this string is called find references to selected command why selected command and not immediate constant well there is no really immediate constant here this is a string all he's not sure what it is it knows that after analyzing that it's a unicode string but it still just bytes so it's giving you options selected command here's three places that reference that string we no longer want them to reference that string we want them to reference our string so we're gonna double click it and at that location we're gonna double click it we're gonna paste our address to our string and now look it's referencing the correct string we're gonna click R and bring up our results again and move down we're gonna do the same for all three of them stirring moderately fast until evenly mixed wait what okay so all three of those are changed good excellent now we need to save this in the old Ollie, one feature that should be in the new Ollie, you could go edit, copy to executable, all modifications. Well, apparently that wasn't a good enough feature to put in 2.0. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here where I know my furthest away change is. And I'm going to go under it, hold shift, hold page up until I see. We're going to see the three breakpoint marks on the left that are red and I, I can hold it in one, two, three. So we, we know that we've selected all of our changes. Now we can do edit, copy to executable. And close that, yes. And let's call this one new. Okay. So now if we run it, it shouldn't crash. Good, it doesn't. And if we type in FGLJ, we should get 8146197875817563 instead of 4465084225659333 good that's how you change a string in ollie um i know short not too cool not that amazing um here in the future i guess i'm going to do a review for a program called i don't know and I'm told I'll get some free keys to give away or something like that. But uh, I'm thinking in the review we'll go over its security and whether we can crack it or not. And if we can, what do we need keys for? Anyways, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, like. Do whatever you got to do. Don't do it. Do it. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Bye.